guys, it's Kona's here. I am going to be talking a little bit about Outlaw Rogue in M Plus today. So I have my talents open and I'll often switch around between heavy hitter and playing double count the odds. More single target is going to focus on double count the odds and if you want more AoE, you're going to play heavy hitter. So I tend to switch it on whether it's tyrannical week or a more single target or AoE focused dungeon. And uh, this is the gear that I'll be using. I've recently gotten this ring and I'm obsessed with it. So this is the AOE version of the ring. If you want a more single target focused, you would use this ring or sorry, this uh, stone instead of the storm infused stone. So I can show you overall how much damage that does. And okay. And since I suck at uh, talking and playing at the same time, I have a pre-recorded video that I am going to be going over to show you my rotation as Outlaw in M+. Now, the great thing about Outlaw is your single target rotation is exactly the same as your AoE rotation. The only difference is, is you wouldn't plus Braid Fury in single target. Um, so I'm only going to be making one video on Outlaw since you will basically do the same exact thing on single target. So we are going to start off from stealth as always, and we are going to trick the tank <laughs> preferably. And um, you can actually use Adrenal Rush from stealth now. So you're going to Adrenal Rush and then roll the dice. The reason that you do this is you will get a guaranteed two buffs um, when you press Adrenaline Rush. So you can see here the way that I track that is I'll Adrenaline, I'll adrenaline Rush. I do it really fast, but you'll see a little thingy that pops up, the little roll the dice in between here, and that is telling me that I'm going to get a double buff when I roll. You can proc more than a double buff. Sometimes you can get a five buff if you're lucky. Now, you're going to open from stealth because I am playing subterfuge. It is a DPS gain to open from stealth with blade fury and then go into your ambush. If you're not playing with subterfuge, then you would just open with ambush. Um, but since I am playing with subterfuge, I'm going to open with blade fury here and then I'm going to go immediately into my ambushes. Uh, you want to try and get two ambushes off. You should be able to do that. So I get one ambush off and then I slice and dice. I get that up right away. And then I do um, another ambush and then you will in between the eyes. Uh, you're going to put that on your main target and just make sure you keep that buff up. Um, you can see it up here on the target. Now, after that, there are a few different things that you, you would do, right? You kind of have a priority list. Right now, I do not have an ambush proc. If I have an ambush proc, I am going to use it. That's your number one prio, ambush, because we're playing the ambush build. So no ambush is up, uh, but I do have a pistol shot proc. So I'm going to use my pistol shot proc here. And now I have an ambush proc. So I will finish because I'm full on combo points. I'm going to dispatch. And then I'm going to immediately ambush, right? And I, you can press your unused trinket, whatever you want, uh, just depending on the pull that you're doing. If you have it, if you don't have it, you can press your on, like on use trinket whenever you want. Um, yep. And so then we're just going to continue. So, okay. The only time you're going to use shadow dance is to fish for procs and just spam ambushes. You do not want to shadow dance when you're at low energy because you will get literally no ambushes off. Now we are playing one count the odds. Right now I'm playing with heavy hitter one count the odds. So every time you ambush, it's going to give you a chance to proc another um, roll. So the important things about shadow dance is you don't want to use it when you're at low energy. And if you already have ambush procs and pistol shot procs up, it's not worth it to use it. In my opinion, I don't. I finish using all my procs and then when I'm like out of juice, that's when I press my shadow dance. And when you're in your shadow dance, you're going to ignore your pistol shot procs. Okay, you're just kind of going to pull them. You're just going to be spamming ambush and I get like super unlucky in here and I get no pistol shot procs in my shadow dance. So that's like super unlucky. Um, so when that happens, right, um, it doesn't matter, but it does happen. You're just going to Sinister Strike, Sinister Strike, right? I'm going to um, put my in-between the eyes up again because it's about to fall off. Sinister Strike to full combo points and just finish until you get procs. The other thing you can do is if you've used your Shadow Dance and you still don't have any procs is you can Vanish. Vanish with my Subterfuge is going to give me two to three, if I'm lucky, <laughs> um, uh, ambush ambushes and possibly fish for some procs. Um, so that's the other thing you can do if you're out of out of procs. 
So you can see here, I get a proc. I'm happy. I use my proc. But sometimes when you use a pistol shot proc, you don't get any ambushes. Unlucky again. Um, that is super unfortunate, right? But I'm just gonna... I, I think I end up vanishing here. Now, uh, the other thing that I haven't talked about yet is your blade rush. I try to use that on cooldown. It is an uncapped AoE. It doesn't do like insane amount of damage, but it also gives you energy. It's best to just use it on cooldown because it does have CDR onto it. Um, so I just use that pretty much on cooldown. And so you'll see me here, I vanished, fish for some procs, I'd get some procs, and I'm happy, happy camper. You want to try to finish at max combo points, or at, um, what is it, six? What is it, one, two, three, four. yeah, six. <laughs> six or seven combo points, sorry, they keep changing the combo points, so I got confused. Yeah, you want to try and finish at max combo points or six combo points. That is going to give you the most damage output, and, um... That is basically the rotation. So, all right. And then if we just look at my damage breakdown, um, we can see the breakdown of the ring. It does, I would say, anywhere from like 8 to 11% of my overall damage in a key. Um, so I really like playing with it. Um, and then you can also see down here, this is the flaring cow and um, the... Um, first boss of the raid ring. And so that accounts for, I don't know, it looks like a little less than 2% of my damage. I would say that's about, about right. Um, yeah, and so that's my damage breakdown. And that is my guide for Outlaw Rogue M+. Plus. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Uh, don't forget to follow and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope it helped.